good Friday to everybody today. This is the day that the Lord has preserved. Preserved for us to remember that blood that was shed. And I want you to know that the good in this Friday is that blood. Say the good in today is the blood. The good in today is the blood. Say it one more time. The good in today is the blood. And I know that you are saying it, you believe it. The good in today is that blood. And that is why when we're focusing on it on, on Wednesday and yesterday, it is so, so important for us to understand that the power of the blood saved your life. The power in the blood redeemed your life. The power in the blood reconciled your life back to Jesus. The power in the blood is the one that paid the price. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. Today, before we go into the word, I'm not going to minister on the blood, but I'm going to touch it. But today, before I minister the word, I want you to go ahead and thank the Lord for the blood. Go ahead and thank him. Just say, Lord, I thank you for the blood. Lord, I thank that is the, the blood as it shed. That is what it's called Good Friday. That blood is the good in this Friday. Go ahead and thank him. Thank the Lord for the blood. Thank the Lord for the blood. The blood of the better covenant. The blood of the new covenant. Lord, I thank you for the blood. Lord, I thank you for the blood. I thank you for the blood. If you can't say more than that, it's okay. Lord, I thank you for that blood. The blood that paid the price for me. The blood that paid the price for my redemption. The blood that paid the price for my healings. The blood that paid the price for my joy, for my favor, for my reconciliation. The blood that paid the price for everything that has to do with me. Oh, Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for the blood. I thank you for the blood. I thank you for the blood. If you're a Christian, today is so important. Whatever denomination you are coming from, this day is sacred. Go ahead and thank the Lord for the blood, unless you are not a believer. If you're a sincere believer, this day is important. This day is special. Go ahead and thank the Lord for the blood. Reflect over it and keep thanking him. Lord, I thank you for the blood. Lord, I thank you for the blood. Lord, I thank you for the blood. I thank for the blood that saved me, the blood that redeemed me, the blood that reconciled me, the blood that delivered me, the blood that paid the price, the blood that, that raised me up from darkness to light, the blood that restored me. Go ahead and thank the Lord. Thank him for the blood. Thank him for the blood. Thank him for the blood. Maybe God can hear this. Maybe we hear this and turn your story around. Go ahead and thank him for the blood. I know he's faithful. I know the Lord is faithful. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him for the blood. Without the shedding of blood, there is no way we can escape the attack, the hurt, the evil that the enemy has planned. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. For the blood, we thank you for you lay it down. Hey, you lay it down, you lay everything down that we might live, that we might be alive, that we might live, that we might be that did we thank you, that did we bless you, that did we worship you, that did we exalt you, that did we magnify you. Go ahead and thank you for the blood. Say, Lord, I thank you for the blood. 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 Don't go, keep saying that for the next one minute. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I appreciate you for the blood. The blood I paid the price. The blood I paid the price. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we worship. King of glory, we thank you. We bless your name for preserving our lives by the blood. We give you praise for all you have done. Thank you for what you did on Wednesday. Thank you for what you did yesterday. Thank you for what you are about to do in our lives. King of glory, we say, Lord, let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted. Without the blood that you shed for us, we will not be here. We thank you for that blood. We thank you for the precious blood of the Lamb. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. Tonight, Lord, you will bless us. You will open our eyes to see, open our ears to hear. Your blood will defend us tonight. Your blood will, will, will support us. Your blood will shield us tonight. Your blood will atone for our sins tonight. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord.
I welcome everyone, wherever you are calling in from tonight, in the name of Jesus. I know people are calling in from Norway, from, from Ghana, from Nigeria, from the U.S., from U.K., from all over the place. And the Lord Almighty that you have come to meet, we meet you at the point of need, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Believe me sincerely. Oh, yes, someone calling from South Africa, someone from Malawi. God bless you all. Now, wherever you are calling in from, know that Jesus is here. Jesus is here to, to bless your life. He's here to touch you. He's here to change you. Please listen. The days of playing games with God is over. The days of playing games with your life is over. Please understand this. Never take life for granted. Never, ever take life for granted. He paid the price for that life you live today. He shed his blood for the life we're enjoying today. And I want, to, I want to understand this, please. Note this. He will never, ever change because of you. He has paid his price. He has completed the assignment for your salvation, for your joy. And I want you to appreciate that. You may not have everything. Nobody has everything. But note that those things that he gave to you, he paid the price for it. And the Lord Almighty will give you the grace to, to stand with him, to uphold that faith to the end in the name of Jesus. I welcome you once again. I'm going to dive down into the world in a minute. And I want to speak from another angle tonight. Something that we have to concentrate on for the next 20 minutes. And we have to pray on. I'm going to confess. There's going to be a lot of prophetic utterance tonight. Just get ready. We're going to confess the word so that we can move into the month of April with some prophetic statement. But please listen. Everything I say tonight is going to be a blessing upon your life. Everything I release tonight will bring to pass God's plan for you this month. Just get ready. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 6 first, and then we'll now read Hebrews 12, which is our text. Hebrews chapter 6 first, please. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 9. Hebrews 6, 9. Let's first read Hebrews 6, 9. And then we'll now go back to Hebrews 12, 22 to 24, which is our text for the three days fasting. Let's go to Hebrews 6, 9. I hope we're there. I'm going to read quickly because of our time. Hebrews 6, verse 9. It says, But beloved, we are confident of better things concerning you. I am confident of better things concerning you. I am confident of better things for you in this year. In the name of Jesus. It says, but beloved, we are confident of better things concerning you. Is that your Bible? Yes, things that accompany salvation. <laughs> things that accompany salvation. Though we speak in this manner. Paul Apostle said, there is confident of better things concerning us because of the salvation. Because we were saved, we, 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 the salvation that we receive by his covenant is attached to better things. He said, we are confident of better things concerning you. And I know this year, better things will start to happen in your life. In the name of Jesus, the title of my message tonight is Expect Better Things. Expect better things. Expect better things. Expect better things. I speak in the name of Jesus. Better things will start to manifest in your home. Better things will start to manifest in your life. Better things will start to manifest in the life of your children. If you believe it, you say amen. If you believe in the promise of God, you receive it and it will manifest. Better things will start to manifest in everything you lay your hand upon. In the name of Jesus, it, you will not know a better yesterday. It shall get better. 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 In the name of Jesus. Please, I've come tonight to pray for you. I have come, I'm not coming to preach. I have come to pray to prophesy upon your life. Just get ready. If you are someone that doesn't normally say amen, this is not the night. This is not the night. Tonight, the Lord said to me, I have given you a mouth and wisdom to bless them. That is it. And I'm going to be blessing you. If you believe it, you will receive it. The Bible says, See, as much as you believe, all things are possible to him that believes. So get yourself ready. Let's now go to Hebrews 12. Hebrews 12, 
Let's look at 22 to 24, which is our text. Hebrews chapter 12, 22 to 24. Expect better things. From tonight, better things will start to manifest. In the name, that is the Bible. In the name of Jesus. Hebrews 12, look at verse 22. I just pray with all my heart that you will receive this word. I pray with all of my heart that you will receive this word. I pray with all of my heart that you believe it and you will hold on to it. Are we in verse 22? Hebrews 12, I read. But you have come to Mount Zion, that's why we're here now, and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and the church of the firstborn, who are registered in heaven, the gathering of God's people, to, the, to God, the judge of all, to the spirit of just men made perfect. Look at verse 24. To Jesus, we have come to Jesus. <laughs> we have come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. The one we have come to meet tonight is the one that will atone, that will speak for us in the presence of the Father. The mediator of the, of the, of the new covenant. Did you see that? And to the blood of sprinkling, that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. We have come to the one that releases the blood, that speaks better things. All things are passing away. The Bible says, behold, all things shall become new. The word better means more desirable. It means satisfactory. It means superior. It means effective. The word better means more desirable. In your life, you will experience more desirable. In your life, you will experience superior things. In the name of Jesus, everything you lay your hand upon shall start to work now. In the name of Jesus, your life will be better from tonight. I speak as many as will receive it. From tonight, your life becomes better. From tonight, your destiny becomes colorful. From tonight, everywhere you turn, you will experience the hand of the Lord. Everywhere you turn, you will experience the majesty of the Lord. Everywhere you turn, better shall be your portion. Better shall be your, your lot. Better shall be your testimony. In the name of Jesus, 2021 will be better than 2020. Hey, April will be better than March 2021. In the name of Jesus, every new month will be better than the old one. Hey, I speak in the name of Jesus. So shall the heaven bring to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please listen. When the Bible says we have come to the, to the, to the throne to, of the mediator <laughs> of the new covenant, the word the mediator is the one that sets it, the one that breaks it, the one that puts it together, the one that stands in between, the one that, that allows that covenant to be, is the one that is speaking for you, not you doing anything. We have come to the mediator that will release his blood to speak better things than the blood of Hebel. Please listen. In Genesis chapter 4, 3 to 12, the Bible says, the blood of Hebel spoke of revenge, anger, and curse. There was anger. The Bible said that Jesus, God said, the blood of Hebel is crying, cried out to God. Cried out to God because Cain killed Abel and God was not happy. And that blood spoke and now. What am I even saying spoke? The blood cried. <laughs> when we are talking of crying, it's different from speaking. The blood of Abel cried out to God, and God heard. How much more the blood of Jesus? Ah. So please hear this. Whatever you are experiencing now cannot be compared to the better that God is about to bring forth. From tonight, you will enjoy better covenant. You will enjoy better hope. You will enjoy better manifestation, better career progression, better promotion, better love, better joy in the name of Jesus. From tonight, better shall be your name. Hey, better shall be your lot. Better shall be your portion. Better shall be your destiny. Better shall be your plans. Better shall be your vision. Better shall be your focus in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every 
spirit of mediocrity, every spirit of retrogression, every spirit of anger, every spirit of envy, every spirit of setback, I come against that with the blood of Jesus. From tonight, no more tears, no more crying, no more weeping. The glory of the Lord will bring better to your door. Hey, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, when the Lord Bible talks of better things, what is he talking about? Let me teach for five minutes before I start to pray for you again. Go to go to the Revelation chapter five. It's a night of prayers. I will release it as he has commanded me to do it. Revelation chapter five. Revelation five. Everybody, please go there. Go there. It's your Bible. This is your blessing. This is your blessing. Revelation chapter 5, verse 12. Are we there? I'll read. Revelation 5 from verse 12. It says, Say with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb <laughs> who was slain. You didn't understand what that means? Worthy is the Lamb who was slaughtered. Who shed his blood? Worthy is the lamb who was slaughtered, who shed his blood. Hey, my God, read on. To receive power. That is number one meta thing. Power, my God. And riches. Number two better thing. And wisdom. Number three better thing. And strength. Hey. Number four, and honor. Number five, and glory. Number six, and blessings. Seven better things he shed his blood for. Seven better things the master shed his blood for. The first one he shed his blood for, you are receiving tonight is power. Hey, my God. From tonight you receive power. Ah, my God. I said it and I believe it and I'm going to repeat it. Because he shed his blood for it, receive power tonight. Power to speak in tongues. Hey, power to witness. Power to do miracle signs and wonders. I speak in the name of the Lord. Power to increase will come upon your life. Power, power to receive abundant life. Power to li be lifted, my God. Power to move. Power not to go back. Power to stand. Receive in the name of Jesus. Are you saying amen? The first thing that he, he died for, which is a better thing, is power. That you notice that when he was sending his, his let's look at Luke 10, 19. Luke 10, 19. Let's look at it. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Are we there? Let's read the Bible. That's the power that we have. Luke 10, 19. It says, behold, I give you the authority <laughs> to trample, that's power, to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. And nothing, nothing, nothing. Now, the power that Jesus gave is the reason nothing can hurt you. So one of the new things, the better things that Jesus died for is that it gives you power to overcome the forces of hell. Power so that the enemy will not be able to manipulate your life. Remember what he says in Acts 1. Let's read one more passage. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. I need some people to pick it to understand this perfectly. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. This is the Bible. It says, but you shall receive power. That's what the Bible says. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. It's a promise. The better thing, number one, he promised is that he will give us to us power. Shout, I receive power. Wherever you may be, I hope you are not sleeping. Shout, I receive power. Some people's Turn around with me tonight as I'm ministering. Say, I receive power. Hey. So power is the number one manifestation of the better thing. Number two, riches. Riches. The will of God for your life is not to struggle. Understanding, inspiration, wealth, talent, gifts. Those are riches. Connections, ideas. Those are riches. God has ordained you to have abundance of riches. Things that you receive that turns out to be empowerment 
to, 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 to publish, and then you like, your life becomes colorful. Second Corinthians 8, 9, look at it. You know it. Let's read it. It's confirming to you that this is what the Bible says. Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. I'll read it. You must know this. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, that's what the Bible says, you know it, that though he was rich, <laughs> yet for our sakes, for your sakes, he became poor, that you through his poverty might become rich. Now, Jesus dispossessed himself of everything, that I may become rich. That I may have abundance in all things. That's what the word rich is what it means. Abundance in all things. So Jesus gave us better things. Number two is riches. 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 Everybody say riches. Say, I receive the grace to be rich. I receive empowerment for riches. I receive empowerment for inspiration, for ideas, for wisdom, my talent my understanding, my gifts will be pronounced in the name of Jesus. These are the better things. These are the better things. I'm just opening up the scriptures to you. Number three is wisdom. <laughs> what more can I say about wisdom? What more can I say about wisdom? You need it and he died, he shed his blood for it. These are the better things. You need wisdom. He said, is there any wonder for those that, that needs wisdom? He should ask, James chapter 1 verse 5, and he will give to us without to rebuking us. Oh my God, please listen. The moment you understand that these things are things he shed his blood for, you will not be struggling to ask for it because it's yours. He said, he shed his blood that it, the blood may speak better things, that the blood may release better things. The blood, the word speak there also means that it, the blood may declare better things. May the blood declare better things for you tonight. Hey, may the blood, as we break it tonight again, may it declare better things for your marriage, better things for your business, better things for your home, better things for your career, better things for your relationship, better things concerning your health. These are the things he died for. So number three is wisdom. Number four is strength. Jesus died so that you may be empowered. It says in Philippians 4.30, don't forget, it says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. He's the one that strengthens you. If you know the number of people who are already flat out, they are depressed, life is no longer meaningful to them. In the last one year, you'll be shocked. But God empowers you with his word daily. And that is why you don't understand that other people are going through torture, mental torture, financial, spiritual, emotional torture, all kinds of torture. But God has kept you. He says he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I can do all things through who? Through Jesus Christ. May he strengthen you this year. Hey, may the strength of Jehovah come upon your marriage, upon your business, upon your children. Oh, Lord Jesus. Daddy, I speak upon every child, every boy, every girl that belongs to Dominion Christian Center. I speak upon them now as you have released to me now. I, I pause, Lord, to do it. I command the spirit of better things to start to manifest in their lives. Hey, in the name of Jesus, all your children shall turn to wonders from tonight. Ah, malema kepa limo I speak as I hear. Your children's life will turn better from tonight. Hey, their desire, their career, their businesses, their academics will start to turn to wonder. Hey, better shall be the story of their life from tonight. In the you will see the hand of the Lord that says better things in their life from tonight. Go and mark it down. You will start to see the hand of the God of New Covenant in their life lights from tonight in the name of Jesus. And oh, that is why he said to me, I'm going to give you a mouth and wisdom. Thank you, Daddy, for giving me this mouth. So number one, I said the better thing, number one is power. Number two is riches. Number three is wisdom. Number four is strength. Number five is honor. For Jesus to shed his blood for this, it matters, brothers and sisters. We don't see it. 
We just brush over it. He said, I am the one that releases my blood to speak better things. The one speak there means to declare better things. So God is declaring honor upon your life from tonight. Hey, the Lord is declaring honor upon your career, upon your home, upon your assignment, upon your ministry, upon your calling, upon your life as a whole. God is declaring honor. God is declaring honor. Say, I receive honor. My God, my people. Shout, I receive honor. You're going to say it several times. Shout, I receive honor. My God, you are not here. Shout, I receive honor. Shout it, I receive honor. Shout, I receive honor. Shout, I receive honor. Follow me to Proverbs chapter 8. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 18, please. Proverbs 8, 18. Proverbs. Let's read the Bible together. Proverbs 8, 18. Proverbs 8, if you believe it, you receive it. It says, riches and honor are with me. <laughs> are you reading it? Riches and honor are with me. Enduring riches and righteousness. That is the will of the Lord for your life. No more shame. No more reproach. No more disgrace. Malima poka sita lida debu. Makele mapuri abade. Mazite kali amade. I terminate that shame in your life. Makepa lili ebu. I terminate that reproach upon your life. Oh, Jesus. Someone is already been lifted now. I teriba lili ebu. Do not pick that call. The Lord said I should tell someone. Don't pick that call. There's a call coming in. Don't pick it. It's to terminate up your blessing. Refuse to pick that call. Thank you, Daddy. I terminate that shame. I terminate that reproach. I terminate that shame. I terminate that reproach. I release the spirit of honor in the name of Jesus. It will set you upon your home. It will set you upon your marriage. It will set you upon your business. It will set you upon your ministry. It will set you upon your career. It will set you upon your life. It will set you upon everything that has to do with you. I release it in the name of Jesus. The number six is glory. Wow. Wow. He was slaughtered. He shed his blood that the glory of the Lord may come upon our lives. Who is the one that will speak and oppose that glory? Who is the person that will not allow the glory to manifest in your life? Enough of shame and reproach. Enough of ridicule. It's time for the grace and glory of the Lord to start manifesting in our homes, in our lives, in our assignment, in our calling, in our ministry, in Dominion Christian Center. It's time for the glory to beam out. It's time for the glory to, to manifest. It's time for the glory to beam beyond the glory of any man. The Bible says in Psalm 84, verse 11, don't forget, it says the Lord God is a sun and shield. He will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those that walk up he gives grace and glory. So he shed his blood. He shed his blood that you may enjoy the glory that no demon of hell can, can, can stop. If you may enjoy the glory that no force of hell. Oh, let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Let me read this passage before we close. 2 Corinthians chapter 3. I have about three minutes, more minutes. 2 Corinthians, look at it. Chapter 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Verse 18. I'm on glory. He shed his blood that we may receive glory as one of the better things. Oh, yes. Glory has to manifest in your life this year. <laughs> I don't care what you've gone through in 2020. I don't care what you went through. Even as at March 31st, from now on, you will experience his glory in the name of Jesus because it's the one that speaks better things. Are you in 2 Corinthians chapter 3? I read verse 18. But we all with unveiled face, nothing is covering our faces again, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord. The glory are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, from glory to glory. May the glory of the Lord transform your life. Hey, may the glory of the Lord transform your ministry. May the glory of the Lord transform your children. May the glory of the Lord transform your home. May the glory of the Lord transform your career, your business, your entire life, your being, your vision, your plans. May the glory of the Lord transform you in the name of Jesus. Please listen. I'm not just listing things to you. I'm prophesying them to you. If you listen to me tonight, I am not preaching to you. I'm prophesying these better things. I am prophesying it to come upon your life. 
I'm not raising prayer point. I am speaking upon your life. I am declaring as a prophet of the living God, it has to come to pass. He honors the words of his prophet and establish the counsel of his messenger. May the Lord Almighty honor my words upon your life tonight. May he bring it to pass hey, in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The heaven is open. Let me finish this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The last one is blessings. Thank you, Jesus. Blessings. Blessings. <laughs> blessings. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Who is it that doesn't need blessings? He was slaughtered. He shed his blood that I might be blessed. And I'm blessed. Hey, I'm blessed. Shout, I'm blessed. Shout, I receive blessings. I receive blessings by the blood. Shout, I receive blessings by his blood. I receive blessings by his blood. Say, I receive power by his blood. I receive power by his blood. I receive riches by his blood. I receive wisdom by his blood. I receive strength by his blood. I receive honor by his blood. I receive riches by his blood. I receive wisdom by his blood. I receive strength by his blood. I receive honor by his blood. I receive glory by his blood. I receive blessings by his blood into it come to pass in the name of Jesus. Please believe me. There's no other magic. The power of life and death is in the word of the Lord. He says he has given us the power to declare, to decree, to speak. <laughs> he said, whatever you say in my ears, I will do. That is why I ask people to confess, to say something. It's whatever you say that God will do. Not whatever you are thinking. It's not about thinking, it's about saying it. Of recent, I, I cancel and pray with some people, and I always tell them, when I give you scriptures, don't just read it and internalize. Say it loud. Confess it. Let it register in the spirit realm. Let them know that this is what you believe. And I know that these words will come to pass in your life. As you go in the month of April, the glory of the Lord will shine upon you. The majesty of the Lord will surround your life. Everywhere you turn, I speak as I'm sent. Everywhere you turn this month, you will experience better things. Ha! Everywhere you turn this month, better things will speak for you. Oh, your life will be better. Your career will be better. Your home will be better. Your children will be better. Your democracy will center will be better. Every one of us, we will end this month in a better situation, better position, better state. In the name of Jesus, every area where you struggle, I announce to them, I terminate them to seize their reign. In the name, the Lord said, I should tell someone, weep no more, it is done. Hey, weep. Weep no more, it is done. There's someone on the platform you're about to give up. The Lord said, if you give up, you lose all. Oh, my shekande riaba. He said, if you give up, you lose all. If you give up, you lose all. I pray that the grace to be tenacious, the grace never to give up will come upon your life until you have your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of there's someone on the platform, your health situation is being a, a struggle. The Lord said, I should announce to you from tonight, you will enjoy better health. Hey, my Leila, and thank you, Jesus. He said, announce better health. And I speak as he says, you will enjoy better health. The hand of the Lord will come upon your life. You will have a vision in the night that will confirm it. Father, we thank you. Oh, yes. Lord Jesus, we exalt you. We magnify you. We honor you. The Lord said that you announced to many of us on the platform, the month of May will be the beginning of supernatural, double supernatural promotion. He said, tell them double supernatural promotion. This month will be a preparation. And as you enter the month of May, you will experience double supernatural promotion. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We worship you. There's so oh, thank you, glorious King. There's someone on the platform. You are so so worried about your your child. One of your children. You are so so worried. The Lord said, I should tell you, relax, be cool, calm, and collected. I am in charge. <laughs> what a mighty God we say. I am in charge. Leave it to me. The Lord said, I should tell you, leave it to me. And I know that he that sent his word will watch over it. 
or oh, someone on the platform, please hear this. Your marriage is always been like you are patching up. The Lord said, from tonight, you will enjoy better marriage. Says the Lord of us, you will enjoy better marriage because the spirit of Christ has entered your home. <laughs> you will soon hear the voice of the Lord speaking through the other party that is causing the trouble. God is already hibernating in that home because you released yourself tonight to the world. Oh, Jehovah, we thank you. There's so, oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. There's all on the platform. The Lord said, yes, two people, a male and female. The Lord said, I should tell you, expect financial surprise this month. <laughs> financial surprise from an uncommon, uncommon, unbelievable source. Financial surprise, says the Lord. Oh, Lord Jesus, we bless your name. We worship you. We exalt you. Oh, the Lord said, I should announce to everybody, the COVID-19 pandemic is packing up. It is going to pack up. The rain is about to end. The rain is about to end. God is going to bring us something that will turn it around. Not just the vaccine, it says, but he will do something that will turn it around. Father, oh, we are a mighty God. We allow you to have your way. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We worship you. We adore you. For you are good. For you are great. For you are mighty. Oh, Lord, have mercy. In Jesus' name. Please, wherever you may be, I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. That after COVID is over, the Lord will lift us up above every reproach. I will shield some things. I won't say some things because of the strength of some people. But what I heard is serious. We're going to pray after COVID is over. God, lift me up above every reproach. Shall we go to pray in the name of Jesus? After this COVID season is over, Lord, take me up higher. Oh my God, I don't know whether you are hearing me. Lord, after this COVID season is all over, take me up higher. This will not end my reign. This will not destroy my life. This, it will not destroy my career. It will not destroy my ministry. It will not destroy my family. It will not destroy my children. Take, go ahead and pray, Lord, take me higher. <laughs> After this season is over, Lord, take my children higher. Take my ministry higher. Take my career higher. Oh, Lord Jesus, take my life higher. Above every reproach. 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 Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We worship you, Lord. We exalt you. We adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray.